Hey, it's Nurse Claire from Boost Prep, and today we'll be taking the HESI A2 Anatomy and Physiology Full Length Exam 1. This exam is the same number of questions and same time limit as the actual exam, so let's get into it. Question 1. What is the function of serotonin as a neurotransmitter? A. Controls voluntary movement. B. Regulates blood pressure. C. Influences mood, sleep, and appetite. D. Stimulates muscle contraction. The correct answer is C. Serotonin influences mood, sleep, appetite, as well as anxiety. Question two. What is the response of collecting tubule cells in the nephron when antidiuretic hormone ADH is released? A. Water is reabsorbed into the blood. B. Sodium is secreted into the urine. C. Glucose is filtered out. D. Potassium is reabsorbed. Correct answer is A. ADH increases the permeability of the collecting tubules, which allows water to be reabsorbed and in turn reduces urine output. Question three. What is the primary function of platelets thrombocytes? A. Oxygen transportation. B. Fighting infections. C. Blood clotting. D. Hormone regulation. Correct answer is C. Platelets are responsible for forming clots to stop bleeding when there is an injury to a blood vessel. They aggregate or come together at the injury site, releasing chemicals that promote clot formation. Question four. Which muscle of the quadriceps femoris group is located on the outer side of the thigh? A, rectus femoris, B, vastus medialis, C, vastus lateralis, D, sartorius. Correct answer is C, vastus lateralis. This muscle runs along the outer side of the thigh and plays a key role in extending the leg at the knee joint, such as during walking or running. A good way to remember this is lateral is lateralis, it's the outer portion, versus medial, medialis is the more medial portion towards the inside of the body. Question five. What structure is located at the lower part of the sternum? A, manubrium, B, xiphoid process, C, clavicle, D, costal cartilage. Correct answer is B, xiphoid process. This is a small cartilaginous structure in the bottom of the sternum and serves as an attachment point for several muscles of your abdomen. Question six. The occipital region refers to which area of the body? A, chest, B, abdomen, C, head slash skull, D, lower back. Correct answer is C, head slash skull. The occipital region is located at the back of the skull and houses the occipital bone, which protects the brain and supports vision related functions. I always remember this as occipital occipital. Question seven. What component of blood is responsible for carrying oxygen to cells? A, plasma, B, hemoglobin, C, white blood cells, D, platelets. Correct answer is B, hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that binds to oxygen in the lungs and transports it to tissues throughout the body. Question eight. Which gland is often referred to as the master gland? A, thyroid gland, B, pituitary gland, C, adrenal gland, D, hypothalamus. The correct answer is B, pituitary gland. The pituitary gland controls other glands in the endocrine system, so it's the master gland. It secretes hormones that regulate growth, reproduction, and metabolism. So it has a lot of responsibilities. Question nine. A sprain involves a tear in which type of structure? A, tendon, B, muscle, C, ligament, D, cartilage. Correct 
correct answer is C, a ligament. Ligaments are connective tissues that link bones at joints. A sprain occurs when a ligament is overstretched or torn due to excessive force. Question 10. Which skin structure helps regulate body temperature? A, sebaceous glands, B, eccrine glands, C, hair follicles, D, nails. The correct answer is B. These sweat glands release sweat onto the skin surface where it evaporates to cool the body and maintain the homeostasis. Question 11. Which of the following is a correct statement about bone structure? A. Osteoclasts build bone tissue. B. Diaphesis. Diaphesis is the end of a bone. C. Epiphesis is the shaft of a bone. D. Osteoblasts build bone tissue. Correct answer is D, osteoblasts to build bone tissue. So in this case, you want to pick the correct statement. So all the other ones that are incorrect, you're going to cross out process of elimination. Osteoblasts are responsible for forming new bone. The epiphysis refers to the ends of a bone and the diaphesis is the shaft of the bone. So these B and C were opposites. Question 12. Aqueous humor is a watery fluid located in which part of the body? A, inner ear, B, nasal cavity, C, I, D, joints. Correct answer is C. So aqueous or aqueous humor is found in the anterior chamber of the eye between the lens and the cornea, helps maintain the intraocular pressure and nourish the cornea. So aqueous humor is in the eye. Question 13. Where are the malleus, incus, and stapes or stapes found? A, nose, B, throat, C, ear, D, jaw. Correct answer is C, the ear. So the malleus, incus, and stapes, or stapes, are tiny, tiny bones that collectively called the ossicles. They're located in the middle of the ear and essential for transmitting sound vibrations to the inner ear. So these three bones are found in the middle ear. Question 14. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are joint movements associated with which body part? A, hand, B, foot, C, neck, D, wrist. Correct answer is B, foot. So dorsiflexion refers to the raising the toes towards the shin. Plantar flexion involves pointing the toes downward, such as when you're standing on your tiptoes. Question 15. Which vessel returns oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart? A, pulmonary vein, B, aorta, C, vena cava, D, pulmonary artery. The correct answer is A, the pulmonary vein. So the pulmonary vein carries oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart for systemic circulation. So when they're coming from the veins, they're carried with oxygen from the lungs to the heart. And a good way to remember this is pulmonary. Also, it means lungs. So coming from the lungs to the heart. Question 16. Which part of the brain is primarily involved in auditory processing? A, occipital lobe. B, temporal lobe, C, frontal lobe, D, parietal lobe. Correct answer is B, the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe processes auditory information and is crucial for hearing and language comprehension. When I think of temporal, 
I think of the tempo, like the beat of a song, auditory. Question 17, what internal ear structure is involved in the sense of hearing? A, cochlea, B, semicircular canals, C, vestibule, D, eustachian tube. Correct answer is A, the cochlea. The cochlea is a spiral-shaped organ in the inner ear that converts sound waves into electrical signals that are then sent to the brain. So it goes from the cochlea, big spiral, into the inner ear, and then into the brain. Question 18. Where does fertilization of an ovum typically occur? A, the ovary, B, uterus, C, fallopian tubes, D, cervix. Correct answer is C, fallopian tubes. So fertilization usually takes place in the fallopian tubes. So fertilization, F and F, fertilization, fallopian tubes, where the sperm meets and fertilizes the ovum before it moves to the uterus for implantation. So the uterus is where implantation happens while the fallopian tubes are where fertilization happens. Question 19. Which area of the body contains the tibialis anterior muscle? A, upper arm. B, lower leg, C, chest, D, back. Correct answer is B, the lower leg. So the tibialis anterior muscle is uh, located along the front of the shin. So anterior, think front, front of the shin is responsible for pulling the foot upward or another word for that is dorsiflexion. You can think of this as the tibia is in your leg, so tibialis anterior muscle will be in your leg as well. Question 20. Where does excess earwax build up when overproduced? A, inner ear canals, B, middle ear cavity, C, external ear and its canals, D, eustachian tube. The correct answer is C, the external ear and its canals. Earwax or cerumen is naturally produced in the outer ear canal pr to protect the ear and can accumulate in this region if it is overproduced. Question 21. Between which chambers of the heart is the mitral valve located? A, right atrium and right ventricle. B, left atrium and left ventricle. C, left atrium and right ventricle. D, right ventricle and left atrium. Correct answer is B, the left atrium and left ventricle. So the mitral valve regulates the blood flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle, ensuring that the blood flows just in one direction. So from left atrium to left ventricle. Question 22. Which sense relies on the olfactory nerve? A, hearing. B, smell. C, taste. D, sight. Correct answer is B, smell. The olfactory nerve transmits signals from the nasal cavity to the brain, enabling the sense of smell. So olfaction is the sense of smell. Question 23. Which blood vessel delivers blood from the body back to the heart? A, pulmonary vein. B, carotid artery. C, vena cava. D, aorta. Correct answer is C, vena cava. So we already remember that the pulmonary vein was bringing oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. So now we're trying to find the blood vessel that delivers blood from body back to the heart. So the superior and inferior vena cava carry deoxygenated blood from the body to the right atrium of the heart. Question 24. What are the primary hormones secreted by the ovaries? A, progesterone and oxytocin, 
B, testosterone and estrogen. C, progesterone and estrogen. D, luteinizing hormone and prolactin. Correct answer is C, progesterone and estrogen. These hormones play a, cru a critical role in regulating the menstrual cycle, preparing the body for pregnancy, and maintaining female secondary sexual characteristics. Question 25. Which anatomical plane splits the body into left and right halves? A, transverse plane. B, coronal plane. C, sagittal plane. D, oblique plane. Correct answer is C, the sagittal plane. So the sagittal plane runs vertically through the body, dividing it into left and right sections, which the mid-sagittal plane divides it equally. So mid is right in the middle, divides it equally into left and right sections. So when you're looking at these other options though, um, the coronal plane um, puts you into front and back. So if I were to have the front half of my body versus the back half of my body. Transverse would be cutting you through the middle, so if I were to cut through maybe your belly, um, and then the oblique would be a diagonal cut. Thanks for taking this full-length HESI A2 anatomy and physiology exam with us. For more exams and complete coverage of the HESI A2 exam, visit the links in our description. I'm Nurse Claire from Boost Prep. Good luck!